The climate crisis is no longer an inconvenient truth that can be ignored. While President Biden has made addressing the climate crisis a top priority of his administration, national and global agenda, some members of the U.S. Congress, Republicans, are trying to reverse that effort, including the latest efforts to reverse the president's executive action that was signed earlier this year to put a pause on the application of pending and future LNG exports. I spoke with U.S. activists that are on the forefront of addressing this issue. In Port of Brownsville, we have two LNGs that are breaking ground. Um, and we want to stop that continuation of LNG exports um, in our area because of the, our sacred site. It's built on our indigenous sacred site as well as it is going to be harmful to future uh, of the future of the community as well as um, it. we don't want it to look like everywhere else on the Texas Gulf Coast. And, um, if you can just talk about why the president's Biden executive order is important. It's important because it's a small, even though it's a it's a small win, it's a win, and we'll take that for the, our our fellow colleagues that we work with across the Gulf Gulf Coast, as well as it, um, you know, making sure that there is a due diligence being done directly about permitting these facilities, and hope hopefully to a continuation to stop LNGs. Uh, the LNG exports and the expansions and the new facilities for being built because we don't need them. We don't need them in our communities and we don't need them for export at all. So can you tell them what, what is the impact that you're seeing on now uh, from the LNG in your community? The impacts I've seen, I was there before the first Calcasieu Pass 1. Um, people are sick, people are getting sick. Um, the fishing that's going down dropped over 50 percent just in the first year and, and the fishermen are practically starving at this point because of bad decisions that they made to permit them so this is not just an environmental issue it's an economic issue as well right right but it's sacrificing the commercial fishing industry for the petrochemical industry and that's just you know, like I said in there, you know, you, you, it's people's lives. 